Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. Immediately today, it's decided to, just as I was genuinely setting up audio and everything, we got sent immediately some quest about a mech cluster. Fantastic. Just music to my ears, really. Oh, good. Um, one auto... Hang on. Uh, that, to me, looks safe. So, we send them the signal. They send us the mechs. However, look at this. Weather controller, I don't really care about. Two proximity activators, one mech drop beacon, one mech capsule assembler. No auto mortars. 73 hyperweave as well. It's fantastic. We can make some royal uh, gear out of that. Just a royal hat or something along those lines. That's fantastic. Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 mission. No royal favor because, of course, it is just the prime counselor of a nearby settlement. But honestly, this is fantastic. Bear in mind all the resources we get at this as well. Now, that gives us plenty of time to churn out some more shells, churn out some more resources. Oh, another thing. Check it out. Defensive positions update. So this this fairly, I, I think, uh, fairly competent kill box I've thrown together here is going to be super optimal now. So how it'll work, basically, is we use defensive positions, get into position, open the doors. I, I've set them to also, well, I've turned off hold open on the majority of them there. That way we can fire them. If they get too close and look as if they're going to climb over the sandbags, we just back off, the doors slam shut, and then they're forced to go this way instead into kill box 2.0 so that we can try and finish off the stragglers. I think this is... A smart idea. I think this might be one of the smarter kill boxes I've built in Rimwad. We've obviously got to get finished off here. I'm also doing the same with doors on that side. Otherwise, they can just basically sprint at us and run right over the top, as we saw with the uh, with the embrasures and the sandbags yesterday. Okay, okay, hang on. So I was told as well that an 8x8 area, because apparently you get something like 18 hay per harvest, so an 8x8 area will be more than sufficient for that other decree that Omega set out. However, we have to bear in mind that sometimes they could botch it. So 12 by 12 is fine. To be honest, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit further than that so we don't waste too much time with it. What's that, like 10, 11 by 11? Should be. <laughs> 12 minus 1, last time I checked, was in fact 11. 11 by 11, I think that's probably safe enough. To be honest, I'll take it down to 10 by 10 because we really don't need the hay for anything else. I've been told that the hay also can't be um, mulched down into the nutrient paste dispenser or anything like that because it counts as rough food stuff. So unfortunately, after that, uh, it's, it's only going to be useful for feeding animals. So I don't want to waste too much time and effort on that rather than something a bit more practical like making components or shells to kill these damn mechanoids with. There was another thing I meant to bring up. Um, someone in the comment section laughed at me for getting what the bionics research was again, which that's not my problem, okay? That's not my, f well, it is my problem, but it's a mental, it's a mental fortitude issue rather than anything else. I've got three videos going on at once, okay? That's, it's too much, it's too much information. If I was just playing reward, okay, fair enough, but this is way too much information to take in all at once, along with all the other series we're doing on YouTube anyway. So it might take a little time for some of this new stuff to settle into my brain. But we did get some... Um... Oh no, has he forgotten what it is? Hang on. It's the one that gives us the... Compact weaponry, that was it, right. So, so we've, we've got that one. I think we bought the tech prints for it, wherever they've ended up going to. We didn't use them. Yeah, there we are. Let's go ahead and use that right now before I forget... Um, <laughs> a, forget about the tech print, but also B, forget what they do again. Oh, nice. I wasn't expecting to get that done so quickly. Ground penetrating scanner also finished. Very cool. What else have we got that we want to move on to next? Pulse charge munitions. Go for charge lance. Oh, well, you can make charge lances now. Okay. Yeah, obviously we've got to go for that. What would be, what would be best to get besides that? So we're limited in some of this higher tier research. We could go for marine armor if we really want to try and keep ourselves alive. Crypto salute caskets we've got access to anyway, so I'm not going to craft any of those right now. Long range mineral scanner. Um, can we choose to find a specific mineral? So that's the one that we can keep pinging for infinite resources, right? It might be worth actually picking that one up. So we've got access to all the deep drilling and everything. Now let's actually get the minerals to uh, to make that worthwhile. We do need some more pack animals too. I kind of wish I hadn't slaughtered all of those muffalos in a very angry rage. Do you want anything else? Um, I'm not really bothered about any of these, to be honest with you. Shield bouts could be okay, but obviously we've got no melee characters. So I don't really want to rely on that too much. Smoke pop could be worth it. Biofuel refining actually is, is a more necessity, which we should work on. Same with auto doors, hydroponics, but they're kind of a luxury thing, really. Um, royal apparel eventually, and obviously pianos, depending on how far we get through the Empire stuff we will need for Omega. But to be honest, a lot of this early stuff is kind of irrelevant now. Plate armor, long blades, we're never going to use that. A masterwork flak jacket. Whoa, okay, cool. Um, do you want to go and wear that one, seeing as you actually don't have one yet? Unless it broke up, like I said, I'm not entirely sure if it broke or something along those lines. Maybe she just took it off. There you go. Are, is, are you happy about that one? Um, you kind of assume, oh wow, look at that. Impressive rec room, bedroom, and dining room, given plus six to, so plus 18 net just from having nice rooms is really, really cool. That's the carpet for you right there. I'm really glad we invested in that carpet when we did. Um, Ratio Apparel, what is wrong with you? Tested apparel, I want to see what is making you sad. Seems we just made a masterwork flat jacket too. Seems kind of a shame for it to be dragged down by something else. Um, oh, it's the pants. We could put down another tailor bench and just have a load of generic clothing be made. 
So use this one for... Actually, no, the armor comes from the machining table, right? So let's go ahead and make a, a, a whole new bunch of pants for people. Although, I'm pretty sure that tribal wear is better. I might be wrong. But again, I saw that meme on Reddit that, that said that, like, t-shirt plus pants is inferior to tribal wear and cost less ingredients. We could just make a bunch. Yeah, that's not really dignified for royalty, though, is it? Let's stick to what we know here. Let's, let's go ahead and churn out, like, the people we got now. We've got nine people. Let's go ahead and churn out nine of those. We'll just churn out the basics. Nine of those and then nine button-down shirts. Oh, I see in the throne room. Hey, I mean, not that we need any more mood at this stage. To be honest, it's at this stage of the game, we might actually want to consider reassessing our schedule again. Because everybody's incredibly happy. Why don't we give them another couple of hours of work every day? That's 10 hours of recreation every day. Obviously, they can, they're can they most likely going to spend that time as sleep. But, I mean, that's, that's still extremely generous given that they're all in blue or green moods here. And we've also churned out another assault rifle. Damn, our weaponry is, is almost out of control here too. Um... So we need to upgrade Penguin, Trev, and then ideally I want to remove the SMGs before we... Chain shotguns have their uses. I know they're nowhere near as practical, but... Oh, there's another assault rifle there. My god, I need to keep an, uh, what we're doing a bit closer. Right, can we grab this one, Chief? There we are. Okay, and then eventually we'll upgrade those into... We'll, we'll kind of throw in maybe a couple of charged lances for our more accurate shooters. And then give everyone else charged rifles. Just kind of spray and pray a little bit. But charged lances in the hands of like Rib with a 16.63 shooting... That's, I mean, insta-kills against unarmored enemies. This will also make some Psychite T then as well. So do that until... So we, we need to take one every one and a half days per colonist. So we're going to need nine every... Was it nine every one and a half days? Let me, let me crunch them as on what would be a good multiplier to use for that. I think if we go for 36, that gives us six days of Psychite T. Um, well, six, not six days of Psychite T, but six consumption if we're doing it every one and a half days and then we've got four lots of tea per person in stockpile then we're going to pause it at half so i think i think that kind of i don't want to make too much psycho tea otherwise i mean to get through all these leaves it's going to take decades and decades and i imagine that the wealth added by the tea is more than the sum of its parts so i don't want to accidentally invite a bunch of raiders because we've just stocked up to our tits on drugs so let's get penguin cooking that as soon as possible my man just, it's just for a mood, essentially. Now, I also want to quickly adjust the schedule as well. Let's go ahead and say Psychic T. You are allowed to use for social, for recreation. We can also put it on a schedule as well. And then, like I said, we want to go every one and a half days. So that's every... Oh, shit. We can only go, like, every two days. Oh, that's annoying. Um, okay, let's do every two days then. There you go. Fine. And then you can take one to your inventory as well. I think that's, I think that's okay. But that gives the plus 12 mood as well. So if they were already weren't on cloud nine, they are going to be now too. That also gives, if you look at that, 10% bonus to their pain and 20% bonus to their tiredness. So they can work longer and they're happier to do it as well. That was definitely a, that was definitely a worthwhile thing to do. I think, I think we've definitely cracked the secrets on the drug trade. I've never really done, like I said, any drugs in Rimmel because it's normally a pain in the ass. If I'd have known that the addiction on Psychic T was so painfully low, I would have done it long before, long before now. Bolt Goods Trader. Finally, we can test out whether or not Berserk is a hostile action. Okay, um, let's do it then. So let's send, again, we've got the Psychic Silencer. So you kind of assume that in that scenario, it, we, we should get away with this. We might just end up getting a mega shot horribly to death. So let's go here. Then we want to go nearby animals. Would that affect their... I don't believe it would. Wait, wait, wait. Let's say illegal. 0% detection chance, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You liars. You liars, YouTube comment section. Well, it doesn't matter too much. We're going to get something from it. I mean, we trade a little bit of goodwill there. What do we get out of it? Oh, God. I hope it's something good. Flak helmets. A crown? That's fine. Uh, steel plate armor, tribal headdress. Oh, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. We're going to win so much goodwill back over with them now. Let's go ahead and trade with them. God damn, that's... So and apparently something also blew up? I'm not entirely sure what the hell that was, but that's okay. Nice. Free stuff for us, though. And they also want to trade. We'll check out the uh, the quest in a second. Let's see what they've got to actually trade with us. Don't, don't leave. Don't leave. God damn it. Okay. Well, now we've got to try and build up some goodwill with them again. That's a shame. Was that worth it? No. I should have used it on an exotic goods trader, given that there was a penalty associated with it. But we know that if we've got, like, 50 opinion with a faction, they turn up with an exotic goods trader, we can drive one of their mufflers, have them kill it, and then just take the stuff, as we've done here. Was it worth it for milk and a crown? No. No, it was not. Boom. Another research off the list then. Let's go for, like I said, like I talked about, some more of those luxury ones now. So, auto deal certainly couldn't hurt. We've got our electricity basically down with the geothermal generators. We picked up, what, four geothermal spots for that. So, that's fantastic. Um, Biofuel refining could be also very, very important. 
I want to build these deep drills. Because I've so rarely used deep drills in Rimworld because we always tend to have some infinite resource mod. Now we've got it in the base gamer. Um, so grand penetrating scanner, it's 200 steel. But it's, it's going to be worth it. Uh, where can we... Oh, we have to put those outdoors, do we? Wow, I actually didn't know that. Um, fine. That's that's okay. We'll stick it over here, I guess. I mean, that seems seems the most convenient place to go for it. Oh, would that block the... No, we're good. A little bit more steel to throw at it first, though. What if what if we dismantle all of these mechanoid clusters once again? You could also smell a lot of this steel slag that's just been left behind by all of them as well. That should provide just enough, I think. Let's cancel some of these bloody doors. I'll, I'll forbid the doors for the time being. I think it's more useful to get something that could bring in more resources rather than wa waste the limited resources we've got on doors. I mean, especially, like, emergency doors, too. A group of tribespeople from the Union of Galaciatro have arrived nearby... Ooh, that's a lot of them. 30? We should be okay with our weaponry and our defenses. I think we should be fine here. This is maybe just going to be war crime supreme. Um, let's say they're going to prepare for a while, then attack. Okay, a lot of people go back, go, go back about your business. We'll give them a minute to fuck around and do whatever it is they got to do. Is there any fancy psychic powers we can use in this situation to make our lives... Or to, or to see if we can do something interesting? Um... I feel the Manhunter packs are only going to bite us in the ass. Unless we do it from, like, within the kill box. Wake some of these deer up, send those to battle. Shenna's not like a big grizzly bear still kicking around. There is over there. Hmm. I feel like it's kind of a dangerous... That's a dangerous mission to be sending Omega on. Fine. Let's get you moved in. Carol's camp bounty. Oh, we're not going to... We're not going to be doing that. What are you doing? Beating the fire out. Extremely dangerous. Please don't do that. Uh, have they seen us? I think they may have seen us. Oh, no. They've, they've changed their mind. Okay. Um, Manhunter pack, how big is that? Pathetic, like really, really small. Okay, back off. Let's go this way. Let's go around the top, see if we can wake up some of those bears or something. All right, never mind. They're just going to begin their assault. That's that's also a okay, not a problem. We've got assault weaponry versus unarmored tribesmen. I feel like we've probably got this in the bag. Like I said, it's going to be premium war crimes as well. This is this is what we're here for. All right, Meg that guy's called himself Mega Scarab, as if that's going to help. I'm sorry, my friend, but you are so screwed. Brilliant, Mega Scarab. Apparently not. More like. Stinky, stinky ant. <laughs> All right, let's just just get this over with. Let's just get let's get this shit done. I think we could probably afford to go speed two, right? Let's go speed two for a while and just see how we hold up. Wow, this is this is tragic. This is just really, really tragic. And the ones that get too close are obviously just going to get absolutely pounded by the the lightning has done more damage to us than the the raiders at this stage. Oh my god. Wow, that was really just straight up murder, huh? That was really just a straight up murder. Capture them. Think of the slavery purposes we've got. Capture, capture. There's only three. Oh, there's another survivor. Hang on. Four potential survivors. Unlikely that I think we're probably going to be able to recruit any of them, unfortunately. Or, or actually keep them alive is probably a bigger concern here. Okay, that was fun. Not really the raid I wanted, but that's not too bad. Malaria. Oh, God. Right in malaria. Um... That's annoying, because we've only got three hospital beds. Uh, we could put on another one very quickly, I guess. I do need to expand this hospital. Oh, right, we just don't have enough hospital beds. Who is the most resilient person? Omega Penguin LeBlanc. Oh, shit. Um, and have we got any medicine besides just tribal? I don't believe... Uh, tribal? But besides herbal, I think it would be in the hospital. I can't see any. Neither on the outline or over here. Yikes, that's going to suck. And I assume bed rest is still set to the highest priority. Fine. 51%. Malaria isn't the worst thing. In fact, do we not have Panoxacillin somewhere? I could have sworn we picked some up from maybe some raiders that turned up with it. Or maybe by murdering someone's buffalo. I could have sworn we had some kicking around. I might have sold it. Okay, I got Rose to tend to Omega that time. And it's an 85% tens quality. Omega is the one I'm concerned about. Because obviously she's going to be up and helping everyone else. Oh, the Psycho IT, right, for the, for the less pain. That's pretty good. Okay, fingers crossed. I'm going to keep a very, very close eye on them here, and I'm probably not going to do much else just to ensure that I can min-max the people who are looking a bit more risky. I think it's going to be relatively safe. I'm not too concerned. 21% immunity, 15%. Uh, you are looking at 20% of 47, and then you have 18, 27 immunity, and then finally a mega, which again, I think it's going to be the trickiest one. 21 and 27. As it looks right now, everybody's going to be absolutely fine, but you never know what might happen at any second, given the questionable AI. Active quest breaking green out. Okay. Um, let's take a look. That is the uh, prisoners being held by the Abbey of the Pond. Oh, right. Being held by... Uh, green has been held captive. I was kind of hoping that would be for... We could, we may never hear from them again. Probably not going to do that, to be honest with you. If, if it was for the Empire, I'd be more tempted. An AI Persona Core. They would like to purchase 200 Plasteel in exchange for an AI Persona Core. We have 929 Plasteel. Done. 
Saying them all. Honestly, genuinely saying them all. That's that's an easy trade. Where are they? Was it you guys? Uh, Abbey of the Pond. Was it was it those guys? Um, no, Purple Bo Bo Bolero. Um, oh God, where the hell are they? A nearby settlement. Which the Green Empire? What? A nearby set. You guys? Oh, there we are. Okay. Um, how long is it going to take to get there? Let's see. We'll take. Ideally, we just want to send one person. I think we'll send Yoko on a one-man trade expedition. Just because Yoko is a pain in my arse -o, so I'm not really too interested in dealing with her shit anyway. Send her with the plasteel we need, and then get her to bring that back. Should be fine. You know, she'll get enough food just on the way there that we don't have to worry about that too much. Plas... Excuse me. Plasteel. Was it 200? I think it was 200. And then... Oh, God, she can't carry it all by herself. Shit. Send her and Trev... We need a pack animal. Um, we don't have any bloody pack animals. Damn it. Okay. Uh, right. Let's see if we can tame a pack animal first. We've got 13 days, right? What wildlife have we got kicking around? Mega sloths, grizzly bears, stallions? Surely stallions are potentially pack animals, right? Boom. Done. Oh, but then you'd start beating the shell rose. Okay, never mind. Um, do we need to tame it at all? Or can we just now take it as... Again, I'm not even sure they are bloody pack animals. We want to give it a go. Uh, stallion plus 70 kilograms. Oh, thank God. Right. We can still send Yoko on her one-woman mission to bring back an AI Persona call. This is a lot of trust we're putting in her here, given that she's done nothing but screw the colony since day one. 200. 19.1 tiles a day. 62 out of 105 mass. Fantastic. Obviously, got to take a little bit of food as well, because she's going through desert for a while. Um, do we have a, like... Pemmican? We could take some berries, I guess. It's not exactly the most efficient stuff. Um, take three. Rots in 2.7. Okay, fair enough. And then maybe some berries as well. How, how many berries do we want to take? Like 20? 20? 25? 30? Let's take like 50. That's, that's overkill. That's massive overkill. I don't think it's going to take that long to get there, is it? One day. Yeah, it's a little bit overkill, but I want to make sure she's going to be okay. And it's well within our weight limit as well. Be gone. We're definitely 200. Wait, before I go, it's definitely 200. Yes, 200 plastic. Right, got it. And we're sending her. I just want to double check everything because caravans are <laughs> terrible. Um, Yoko, Stallion, be gone. Only has 4.9 days of food to last uh, a two-day trip. However, will she survive? How that malaria situation do then? 34% uh, immunity, 22%. We're looking at 31% immunity, 68% with Sam. This guy is, is done. Um, Penguin, you are looking at... 28.39, and then obviously Newt's been beating up Omega. You were the one I was concerned about. 27.37. Wow. Yeah, no, I think we are. I think we're going to be a-okay. Oh, good. And now Yoko can die. What is it? It's a single person with a club. I think not even Yoko. I say this with absolutely no confidence at all. Not even Yoko could screw this up. Not even Yoko. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> oh, God, I have no hope. I have no hope. Oh, she'll, she'll also acquire it pretty pretty soon. Much quicker than I could do. Oh, shit. Good shot. Good shot. <gasps> Thank God. My God, she got lucky there. Thank God she rolled high. Okay, let's get out of here then. Um, Alright, jump to location. Reform caravan. Accept. Off you go. Steel. Hey, right there. Okay, grab that. And we'll also grab some, excuse me, we'll also grab some silver ore as well. Um, if, is there anything else in the mine that we've uncovered? Absolutely nothing at all. Why don't we cancel these for the time and get Rib to go and get the the more important stuff. Well, actually, we've got a lot of people mining right now. I think that I think there should be enough jobs to go around, right? Oh, Christ. Oh, Drake, a peaceful. Okay, move on. Not a problem. Move on. Manhunting what? Manhunting snow bears. Snow hares. Oh, right. Okay. That's that's also fine. One of them. A, a single hare. At least it... I mean, the adventures of Yoko are absolutely gripping, I'll be honest with you. A single tribesman with a club and a single rabbit. This is the type of adventure that Yoko is more than capable of handling. Well, to be honest, it's about the only adventure she's capable of handling, given how completely fucking useless she is. But she's done a pretty good job so far. She, this this may be Yoko's redemption arc. Her single adventure to... Oh, come on, really? Oh, but Rib had a chemical fascination, right? Fair enough. Um, Yeah, this, this may be Yoko's redemption arc to go and get the AI Persona Call, which is obviously one of the most important things we can get in RimWorld. She's there. Fulfill trade offer. Give 200 plasteel in exchange for... Oh, we've done it. So, did she have to now bring that home? Is, is that still... Or, or is it sent by drop pods or something? No, she's got it in a backpack. Oh, good. That's nice and safe. Good luck. Please come home as soon as possible. 53.74. We've got 47.67. 
Uh, 52% malaria, 76% immunity. Who was the other person? Oh, the other person's fully healed. Nice, okay. And then Yoko should be home basically tomorrow because she's already made, obviously, it's a one-day journey. She's already moved part of the way there, although that assumes that she's going to move for 24 hours. Okay, so like two days she'll be back then. And we're back. An incredibly safe journey. I'm actually genuinely quite impressed. So I've set them to no longer wear tainted apparel. More importantly, it'll allow us to... And now you send me yaks, you coward. Is that a reward for completing our quest? I mean, that's fine. Apparently, they do make milk. Um, they're both male yaks. I mean, again, that's not really what we want to be milking, but that's okay. Join us, my friend. Fit it to the prisoners. It's fine. What was I going to say? Right, so I've, I've untainted... Uh, I, I've untaked allowing tainted apparel in the outfit. Not tainted apparel, tattered apparel. I've set the quality slider above 50% hit points, basically, so that we can more clearly see, obviously, what we need to build here, but it will obviously deal with that mood buff, too. I don't know why I'm so focused on mood, given that everybody's generally in quite a good mood, regardless. But never mind, half of them right now are inflicted with m malaria. So, how are we looking? 89% and 65% malaria spread. Um, He's good. Uh, You're fine. And Omega is 98. They're going to be absolutely okay. We've got a royal tribute collector just turned up there. We've also apparently got just a shitload of thrombo. Welcome. I feel like there's something I could do here. I feel like there's something I could do with... Was that another caravan as well? I feel like there's something I could do to potentially... Get the Empire to attack the thrombos. But if, if the Empire dies in our territory, they'll blame us, right? I don't want to risk that. I don't want to risk it. Especially as we've got so many prisoners as well. That was a tribute collector, not just a caravan, right? Um, trade? Royal tribute collector. We have those prisoners. Take them. Take them. Four favor apiece. You're welcome. And then... I don't know how much gold they expect you to... Oh, shit, we're now prior to her? And we get another Psychic Amplifier. She is going to be so goddamn powerful. Oh, she can't. She's already maxed level. Ah, interesting. So we can only buy powers for her now. We can install it on Rib, though, yeah? We can. Nice. She's learned Stun. Okay, I think that um, a Stun is not as good as the other one, though, is it? Stun is not as good as Burden, I think it was called. Um, it's me checking completely the wrong character. Do we even have Burden? We do have Burden. Um, I, I, as I recall, Stun is, is much worse. Do we have any more Psychic Amplifiers to use? I guess not, otherwise I'd have already tried to install them on Omega, right? Well, that works out really, really well. Now that she's prior to, are we okay? We need two columns, and Rift of Sexer Brages aren't let. Oh, I don't give a shit about that. That's why I was, uh, that's why I was chopping wood, to be honest with you. Okay, well, let's put down a couple more columns, then. I feel like that's quite an easy one to fulfill, um done very nice that's specifically also why i built this so so large is is so that we could uh basically future proof for that same with this one although i'm not going to be so invested in ribs uh status in the empire at this stage so how are we looking what what is omega good at now so she can no longer so she will no longer harvest grow so so it's no longer just the unskilled labor but, but any manual labor she now will refuse to do that's fine, seeing as she's mainly our social and researching character anyway. I imagine research is going to be one of the last jobs to go for a, a noble character, right? I want to do something about these Thrombo. I want to do something about these Thrombo. There's so many kicking around. I, we've got to do something with them, right? How many are there? There are four? Five? Where's the... Oh, there's one up there. Have we got the firepower to realistically stop five Thrombo? I don't believe so, but I'm going to give it a goddamn go. Because that's a lot of meat. The thrombo horns will sell for a friggin' fortune. I'm trying to tame them. Don't thrombos eat just about everything on the... <laughs> Let's try and tame them first. And if it takes too long, we will slay them instead and take their tasty, tasty horn. 100% um, chance to attack on... We might just end up back growing them doing this anyway. Oh, you guys said that apparently I can just do that instead for um, for hunting, taming, which is really nice. I actually didn't know you could do that. Two, three, four, five. There we are. Good luck uh, to our animal handlers. You are going to get absolutely annihilated. Have we got the skills to do that? We absolutely do. 14, 13, and 12. Biofuel refining also finished 1.2% chance. Oh, God. This is not worth it. Um, so, look at refining. Goes into Flake and Yeo. Let's not have those around, too. Um, apparently, if we get the addiction like we did, and then we also have Flake and Yeo around, obviously, they'll just snort that stuff and get completely wasted. Um... Honestly, what is left to go for? Let's go for pulse charge munitions. I mean, that seems like another safe thing. 0.2% chance. I mean, that's 5% chance a day, realistically. Because we've got, obviously, five, well, it's slightly more than that. We may get a thrombo out of this. I don't know what the fuck we'll do with a thrombo, but we could get a thrombo. Sorry, could we get that persona core moved from just in the middle of a field? <laughs> Thank you for that. Much appreciated. Do we want to build the spaceship? Like I said, we want, obviously want to go for the Empire thing, but we could also build the spaceship as well as a sort of the backup, just in case I royally fuck things up, no pun intended. 
Let's be careful. Let's be careful about how we go ahead. I need more steel. This is what we're missing right now. Um, have we still not found any more bloody steel? Are they even mining anymore? Oh, we need to up. The, we need to up mining. This is this is way too slow. You just don't even bother. Everyone else, let's get to work. We need so much more steel to basically fulfill all of this. Obviously, these post-charge munitions. There's no point going for that if we don't even have the resources to build it. Never mind. We might actually be able to cut out the middleman and buy the weapons directly, and then save a little bit of effort here. Let's go and see what they've got. Um, oh, shells. Yeah, give me those. To be honest, I said we would go for the empire. We could just sell that for like twenty-three hundred. I don't want fire phones. What the hell am I doing there? Um, let's buy some medicine. The question is, do we want shells to defend ourselves from mech clusters and medicine or a persona core that realistically we're never going to use because I want to... The whole point of the series was to go via the Empire's route and sort of see how that would pan out. I think we'll do that. We could smelt all of this stuff down, but the amount of time it would take to actually smelt it all down would... It's not really worth it. Mono sword. Wow. Crystalline metallic long sword. I mean, it's not worth it because we no longer have any good melee characters. They have some other interesting... I don't know if there's any other high-end guns besides just charge lances now. I suppose they didn't want to add any more super overpowered versions of that because it's already quite powerful as it is, whereas melee was clearly inferior to any sort of other weapons. Um, it's supposed to be MP launchers. They've got assault rifles, which we could obviously upgrade to there. Um, they really don't have anything. Recon helmets probably wouldn't hurt. EMP grenades could be really interesting. Honestly, I feel like one EMP launcher certainly wouldn't hurt. Let's pick up one of those. Pick up a... Oh, we can't afford it. Shit. My bad. Um, guys, this is expensive. Good God. What if I, what if I bought here? What if I bought that's so expensive? Oh, like... Yeah, okay, fair enough. Let's drop that down to 25. Let's drop that down to 25. That's going to save us on steel in the future, bearing in mind. Um, and then give me that assault rifle too, because again, that will save on spending the steel on just crafting our own. 3 through 6. Okay, let's let you guys go back down to 25 on that one. Um, maybe just 15 shells. And we can afford 20. Yeah, do that. I think that, I think that was the right play. Are they leaving? Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Okay, squad up. Gun them down. Kill them all. They are fucking leaving. You pricks. Okay, um, I just want to like, I don't want to kill it. I don't want to kill it. We send it berserk. No, I don't want to, I don't want, no, 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 I do want to kill it, but I don't want to risk our guys getting killed. That's what I meant to say. Okay, I feel like I've basically just fucked us there, but we'll see how this goes. Oh no. Uh, oh, how much have we damaged it, do you think, from that? Not enough to outrun it, unfortunately. Madden Manhunter? They're still leaving. They're, they're not, what the fuck are they doing? They're not... Uh, so, if you make a thrombo, a manhunter, before they... As they're leaving the map, they'll keep leaving the map. That seems really strange. Uh, actually, attack it then, team. Rather than just stand there watching it go. What the hell are you guys doing? Come on. Get in there. Blow it away. Okay, die. Oh, don't shoot Omega for fuck's sake. Done. I'll take it. I mean, hey. It was either that or just watch them leave. So, I feel like we got something out of that, at least. A kick suppressor for pay. Okay. What have you got for me? Um, the Predator of the Green Empire is traveling near our colony. He is being followed by the tribespeople every over the pond once you have using signals to draw them towards us. Yeah, okay. The Knights of Eight to harass us. We don't really care, but we get a Psy Focus Helmet. Fine, and we can give that to Rib, seeing as we've already got one for Omega. Um, and it's a bit more, it's a bit more protective than a fancy hat. We also get six Royal Favor with it. I'm gonna do that, obviously. There you go. Very nice. And then we have to, uh, is it a Psychic Suppressor tuned to the male gender. Cluster of hostile mechanoid structures. Oh, great. So we're going to have to send quite a hefty caravan then to... There it is. That's not too bad. That's really not too bad at all. So then our goal for tomorrow, let's go and destroy that psychic suppressor. I'm sure I'll forget about it between now and then. So maybe scream at me in the comment section because I am... I, I mean, I'll say that. It's got the notification on the side. I was going to say I'll forget about the quests as I tend to do with all of the quests in this game. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We are getting... I feel like we, we, we're making an extreme amount of progress here, but also we're getting kind of close to our endgame goal. Prior to now, how many more ranks are above that? Like three? Either way, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's pretty good, especially as on Merciless as well. I feel like it's uh, very well earned. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place, without which we wouldn't be able to go on these little adventures through our various different RimWorld mod packs. So a big shout out to these guys. Thank you to Jonah Waters, Anthony Gawley, James Shea, Vacuous Bacchus, Odie, Jackson Woodman, The One Ring, Blue the Lazy Archer, Alchemia, Harry McGowan, Asuna Curso, Lucas, Shea, Ninja Tree V, Necrofullen, Darth Hawk, Gwen S, Caden Carter, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. Thank you all for going to those higher levels of channel 
Backage. What's the, what's the, that, that doesn't sound right at all. That sounds like some disgusting medical condition. I'm so sorry. Thank you as well to Manuel Bossich, Talad, Demon X Jester, Attila, William H, Pantherpel, Dranmir, Will Wade, Fat Joe is a Toe, my name isn't Dio, Tofu10, Tentacle Beast Loves Trees, Spirit085, Euron DeVries, Astro, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support. See you all tomorrow for probably getting absolutely clapped by this mechanoid cluster. Let's be realistic.